searching Alaska's sports source. Saturday was a great day to be a champion as we have two new football state champs. Check out the recaps on alaskasnewsource.com while we also crown champions at the Great Northwest Athletic Conference Cross Country Championships at Kincaid Park. Hundreds of runners from 10 colleges, including our Alaska universities, UAA and UAF as the state, host the GNAC championships for the first time in 22 years, finally getting to showcase our trails and running community to the rest of the conference. And as far as a late October race in Alaska goes, couldn't ask for much better weather conditions and temperatures in the 20s. Just like the runners from up north in interior Alaska like it, Nanook runners Kendall Kramer and Rosie Fordham going one and two in the women's race. Kramer, a Fairbanks native, going back to back as GNAC champ now, circling the 6K course in 20 minutes, 46 seconds for first place. This is so awesome. I was really excited about today. I love running in the cold. Um, I just feel really fast in the cold. I feel really light. Obviously, we've ran here already this year, um, but I've also ran here a lot in high school. I've trained here for three summers. Like, I know Kincaid Park so well, and the girls are quick, so it was going to be a good day. And my whole family's here. Meanwhile, Seawolf's top finisher was Nell Baker of Seattle, taking fifth place, clocking in at 21-18, earning all-conference honors and GNAC Newcomer of the Year with the top five finish on the trails that she now calls home. I think there's something really special about being at home, and more than half the fans are cheering for you and your team, and you just really feel the love. And it's such a beautiful day here that it's really special to just have, be showing people like what Alaska's about. And I think it just, just felt that love for Alaska today and just ran with my heart. In overall results, Western Washington took the team title thanks in part to a local Palmer Sophie Wright and her top 15 finish bit of a homecoming for her as the former Moose returns to the trail she once trampled, a meet she has had circled on her calendar for a while to show her teammates where she grew up. I was stoked because I was hearing from all the UA people that were like, yeah, we might be hosting it, we might be, and I was like, there's no way because, you know, college running just like doesn't really do stuff like this a lot. Like, I don't think like people realize how close-knit like Alaska community is, and so just to, like come back and be a part of that and show people that's been truly amazing. <laughs> On to the men's eight-kilometer race now. See, will stand out Cole Nash, the defending GNAC champion, went in at last year's race in Oregon. All eyes on him on his home course. But, man, fortunately, just hasn't been able to compete a whole lot this season, battling injury. Still put up a valiant effort to come in third place overall. All conference honors as well. We'll be representing UA at the regional meet here in a few weeks. I'm just, just trying to do my best with what I got, and I don't know, there's no excuse to not run well, but I'm more here for the team. I did what I had to do to get the team where we needed to be. Second isn't great, but it's also the best performance we've seen our, our boys run in a while, so I'm really proud of them. I love being able to run with my teammates, run with the Seawolf, the Alaska on my jersey. I, this is my last conference up here, so I, I love running for this state, running for this team, and there's nothing like it. Yeah, UAA men had a great showing on their home course second in team standings that you heard behind Western Washington. And that was in part because of the performance from freshman Ty Elliott, Anchorage native and Grace Christian grad, now getting to showcase his home trails. Yeah, I thought it was pretty exciting. Um, yeah, just being at home. Normally we have to travel for these kind of events. So um, also, yeah, just having like the whole whole uh, um, conference out here just to see like where we train and what we do. So that, that was pretty exciting. Great performances from our Alaska athletes, many of which will be competing in the NCAA West Regional Championships in Monmouth, Oregon in two weeks. As I have a feeling, the next time I go to Kincaid to cover a race, we'll be swapping out the sneakers for skis.